volume of rectangular prisms. Before we get started, we should review what is volume. Volume is the amount of space a 3D shape can hold. So kind of like how much space does a box hold? Or like a soup can, which is a cylinder, how much space is inside that cylinder? So this is a formula sheet. Some of these should really look familiar. We've got area of parallelograms and rectangles. We've got area of triangles, area of trapezoids, and the one we're concerned with today is volume. And volume is equal to B, but this is a different B. It's a capital B, and that capital B means area of the base times the height. Here we have a rectangular prism. It's 2 inches by 3 inches by 4 inches, and it has six sides. And it's a rectangular prism because all the sides are rectangles. And it's a prism because it has two bases, and it's connected between those two bases with straight sides. Now, before we use the formula, let's see if we can figure out the volume by looking and breaking this up into cubic inches. So we have two inches going this way. So we can cut that into two. We've got three inches going this way. So we're going to cut it into three. And we've got four inches tall. So we're going to cut it this way into four pieces. Now when we're talking about volume, we want to know how much space or how many cubic units is in this shape. In this case, we want to know how many cubic inches are in this rectangular prism. And that's the same thing as counting all of the cubic inches. We've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we have all the other ones on the other side, so that's two rows of these, so that's a total of 24 cubic inches. And instead of saying cubic or writing cubic, you can just put inches with a little 3 as the exponent. So 24 inches cubed is the volume. The other way to do that is with the formula. And we can see if we get the same answer. The formula says that the volume of this whole shape is V equals capital B. That capital B means the area of the base times the height. Now the area of the base, here's the base, that's the bottom. You can't see it and it's actually just the same thing as this base up on top. We need to find the area of that base and that base is a rectangle. In the area of a rectangle, you can either do base times height, or you can do length times width, whichever formula you prefer. And in this case, the rectangle is 2 inches by 3 inches. So the area is 2 times 3, making an area of 6 inches squared. So volume equals the area of the base is 6 times the height. The height is 4. So we got 6 times 4 equals 24 inches cubed, which is the same as what we got before. Here's another rectangular prism. We want to find the volume of it. So volume equals the area of the base times the height. In this case, the base is right here. It's the same as on the top. And the area of that rectangle, base times height, or length times width, either one, the rectangle is 6 by 5, so 6 times 5, giving the area of the rectangle as 30 inches squared. Now to find the volume, we say volume equals base times height. The area of the base times the height. And the area of the base was 30 times the height of 3 gives us a volume of 90 inches cubed. A rectangular pool is 20 feet wide by 40 feet long by 5 feet deep. 
how many cubic feet of water is needed to fill it. So we want to find out how much water is needed to fill this pool. Well, the base of the pool is going to be 20 feet by 40 feet. We need to find the area of that pool. So the area of a rectangle is length times width, or base times height. It's 20 times 40. 2 times 4 is 8. 20 times 40 is 800 feet squared. But that doesn't tell us the cubic feet needed to fill the pool. For that, we need to find the volume. So the volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. The area of the base was 800 times a height, and the height in this case is how deep is the pool. Well, it said that the pool is 5 feet deep. So the volume of this pool is 800 times 5. The volume is 4,000 cubic feet. So you'll need 4,000 cubic feet of water to fill the pool.